Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Gantt chart in Excel um, to follow the different faces of a project. So here I have different faces of a project and we're going to build the Gantt chart uh, with all the following faces. So I'm going to um, give you the file. It's going to be right below the, below the video. So you can download it and follow with me to see how it's built. Uh, and I'm going to show you right away how it's built. So what I need for each phase, I need the start date, the end date, and the duration. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm going to say that I know the duration and I want to compute the end date. So each time I'm just going to put the start date plus the um, duration. But you could have different formulas, for example, where you know the end date and the start date and the duration is the result of a formula. It depends on your project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put everything as long date like this, uh, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to say that each time the next phase begins on the day of the the end of the previous one. Here I'm going to put all the formulas like this, and I'm going to put everything as long date. So here I have all my faces start date and date duration so now that i have all my data what am, am i going to do so first i'm going to put this as numbers uh, why because sometimes when i create graph with dates uh, there's kind of a bug in excel it doesn't detect well things so i'm going now to insert a stacked column a stacked line graph like this and what we're going to do we're going to put uh, an empty space before the face and put some colors for the face like this um, and you see that it's almost what we want. So now I have to select data. I have to remove the end date uh, because we don't care about it. And uh, now you see how a bit how it looks. But we want to. So this I'm going to put it in. Uh, I'm going to put it in uh, in blue, for example. Uh, I have to put it here, blue. Um, and for this one. I'm going to put it in. Um, I'm going to put it in, in white, for example. Or I'm going to put it. Yeah. So I'm going to put it in white. I'm going to remove this axis, uh, but I'd like the graph to start at zero. So I have to remove the date. Here you see. Um, I converted the date as numbers because dates in Excel are only the number of days that have passed since January 1st, 1900. So it's a number about uh, 40,000 days. So now I want, I'm going to modify the axis. Uh, so now I think, yeah, I'm going to modify the axis. I'm going to put, um, the minimum is going to be 43,000, uh, 487. Yeah, so it starts at the beginning of the project. Now I need to, uh, usually what we do with Gantt chart is that the first face is on top. So I uh, down there, there's an option value in reverse order under display unit. So it's going to switch. Um, actually, no, it's not for this one. It's for this axis. I'm going to go into axis options, uh, axis type, axis uh, position categories in reverse order so it's like this yeah with the dates on top and the project going on forward like this uh, now what I can do I can put everything as dates because it's more convenient uh, and that's actually dates so that's what we want to see so I'm gonna put the dates like this um, and here we have our again chart so another thing that I could do here I could uh, Could put an angle yeah I'm gonna put an angle like this to um, uh, to have the dates you know uh, so that the dates don't overlap uh, and so here I'm gonna say my project and here we have our Gantt chart you know so um, so to wrap this up, 
how do you build a Gantt chart? You have to put the start date and the duration. You stack them into an horizontal graph and you um, you make it start at everything at the start date and you uh, display the start date, start date in white so that uh, each time you don't see the, the start date on the, on the chart, you just see white and then you have just the duration and it starts at... Um, and the duration is displayed uh, at the start date in color. So you can download the file, the template right below the video. It's gonna be, uh, there's gonna be a link so you can download it. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified uh, as soon as I publish it. See you tomorrow champions, ciao.